From giant alien looking flowers to the meanest tree ever, here are 16 examples of the world's most unusual plant life. Number 16, the baseball plant. Endemic to a small region of South Africa, most specimens have a six inch or 15 centimeter diameter with eight ridges and a series of small protuberances. You might have to use your imagination to see the resemblance to a baseball but its unique shape has made it over-harvested by plant collectors. That, along with its slow growth and low seed count, have caused a severe decline of populations in the wild. The good news is that the plant is being widely cultivated in botanical gardens around the world. Number 15, Giant Hogweed. It's also known as the giant cow parsnip, and in certain parts of the world, it's regarded as an invasive plant species. It's definitely one of the scariest stationary plants around, reaching heights of 20 feet, 6 meters, with a stem that can measure 4 inches or 10 centimeters in diameter. It's rightly considered a noxious weed due to its sap, which is phototoxic. It causes redness, itching, and blisters on the skin upon exposure to sunlight or ultraviolet rays. Burns can result in wounds that require hospitalization, and the resulting scars could take several years to heal. It's native to Central Asia, but was introduced to the UK as an ornamental plant in the 19th century. From there, it has spread across Europe, the US, and Canada. Number 14, Waterwheel Plant. Its common name is a reference to the appearance of its traps. They're arranged in concentric rings around a free-floating stem in the center. Botanists tell us that the structures are similar to the Venus flytrap and are used to capture small aquatic invertebrates. As soon as prey approaches close enough, two lobes enclose the victim in a snap trap. Closing at a rate of 20 milliseconds, it's about five times faster than a Venus flytrap. The waterwheel plant is an aquatic and rootless species that's widely distributed from Europe to Australia. And a lot of that distribution is due to the plant's location. They're often found near the migratory roots of birds. When they stick to birds' feet, the water wheels are transported to aquatic destinations along those routes. Number 13, Hydnora africana. Native to Southern Africa, this plant grows mostly underground. The only part that sprouts above ground is a fleshy flower that emerges after heavy rainfalls. That structure is known for a couple of things. One thing is the vivid reddish orange coloration. The other is a repellent funk it emits to attract pollinators like carrion beetles and dung beetles. The insects are trapped by the flower for several days before being released to spread their pollen. These plants are also unique because they have no chlorophyll and don't photosynthesize. Botanists say they're parasites that feed off of host plants for their nutrients. Number 12, New South Wales Waratah. As its name suggests, this plant is endemic to New South Wales in Australia. In fact, it serves as the floral emblem of that state. The species is renowned for its striking shape and vivid red coloration. Those flower heads bloom in the springtime and are prominently featured in architecture and advertising. The Waratah is a large shrub standing more than 13 feet high, four meters, with one or more stems. Its seed pods have their own singular look and can extend about six inches long, or 15 centimeters. The plant figures prominently in the folklore of indigenous Australians, and the name Waratah was derived from an Aboriginal term. Number 11, the pelican flower. Instead of petals, this peculiar pelican flower has large inflated chambers with colorful patterns of veins. With leaves nearly 10 inches wide, 25 centimeters, and heart-shaped flowers some eight inches, 20 centimeters, it's one of the largest such plants in the world. They're native to tropical forests of Central America and the Caribbean. Along with its distinctive look, the flower exudes a distinctive foul aroma that's been compared to rotten meat. The smell is used for attracting pollinators like breeding flies. Number 10, carnivorous pitcher plants. Their jug-like appearance is a clue to the name of this vegetation. Pitcher plants secrete a nectar along their rim, which serves to attract prey like insects and the occasional amphibian. The creatures are lured into the mouth of the bell-shaped pitcher. Once trapped, they eventually drown in the plant's digestive enzymes, which dissolves them while they're still alive. But a species discovered at the summit of Mount Victoria in the Philippines has an appetite for small mammals. 
In 2012, researchers proved that this plant lures in and digests shrews. This particular species is identified as Attenborough's pitcher plant. It's one of the largest varieties of such plants and was named for the broadcaster and naturalist Sir David Attenborough. Number 9. The Rose of Jericho If this plant resembles a tumbleweed, there's a good reason. It really is a tumbleweed that is found in regions of the Middle East and the Sahara Desert. Its dehydrated appearance is misleading though. During dry periods, the plant's branches will contract and stay closed for years if need be. Moisture will cause it to reopen and restores all of its freshness. When the rainy season ends, the plant will dry up and its branches curl into a tight ball as it enters a state of dormancy. They're known as resurrection plants since they can survive extended periods of severe dehydration. But they also have another talent. Since ancient times, shamans have used the plants as a way of forecasting the weather. Number 8. The Corpse Flower Rafflesia arnoldii is native to the rainforests of Indonesia, and measuring around 3 feet 1 meter in diameter, it's known as the world's largest flower. But it's also known as the corpse flower. That's because the plant emits a stench similar to rotting flesh, which serves to attract flies that pollinate the plant. Interestingly, the corpse flower does not have chlorophyll, nor does it produce leaves, roots, or stems. Number 7. Rainbow Eucalyptus This tree looks like it could have been designed with Crayola crayons, but these vibrant colours are all produced by the plants. As patches of tree bark fall off intermittently during the year, that reveals the tree's bright green inner bark. When that bark later matures, it develops those vivid vertical patterns of red, blue, orange and purple over the summer. The rainbow eucalyptus grows to more than 200 feet tall, 61 meters, around 6 feet wide, 2 meters, and is native to the tropical regions of the Philippines and New Guinea. Number 6. Cobra Lily These plants get their common name due to their resemblance to the snake as it rears to strike. Along with the serpentine shape of its tubular leaves, the plant even has a forked leaf that resembles a cobra's fangs. Even though it doesn't appear so, these are rare pitcher plants found in Northern California and in Oregon that grow in cold mountain streams. Instead of having a traditional pitcher to collect rainwater, cobra lilies absorb water by pumping it up from the roots. Insects are trapped by downward pointing hairs and lubricating agents that make it impossible to escape. These plants have translucent, false exits that fool the prey into thinking they can make a break for it. Instead, they exhaust themselves and fall into the trap and drown. Number 5. The Dragon Blood Tree Sarkatra is the largest island in the archipelago that bears its name. It's a remote area that broke away from the African mainland some 6 million years ago, and is now in the Arabian Sea. It often appears on lists describing the most alien-looking places on the planet. And a major reason for that is the dragon blood tree, which is named for the red sap it produces. Ancients used the sap for ritual magic and alchemy. Since the 18th century, the sap has been used for varnish, toothpaste, and as a cure-all for many afflictions, including dysentery. Many people have commented that the unusual umbrella-shaped tree looks more at home in Middle Earth than on our Earth. Number 4. Tree Tumbo it almost looks like someone dumped a load of seaweed in the Namib Desert. This plant is endemic to the region and is a very simple organism. It consists of two leaves, a strong stem, and roots. The plant's circumference measures about 26 feet or 8 meters, while rising less than 7 feet, 2 meters above the ground. The leaves just keep on growing until they split into strap-like extensions that measure some 13 feet, 4 meters. It's a very hardy organism that can survive without rain for almost 5 years, and its lifespan can range up to 2,000 years. Tumbo is the name that locals gave to the plant. More often, it's called Welwitchia, named for the botanist who first described it. Number 3. The Manchineel Tree If a plant is nicknamed the Tree of Death, you know there's nothing warm and fuzzy about it. This scary species is found from Florida to Central and South America. It is known for producing a white sap or latex that is so toxic that merely brushing against it can result in a violent allergic skin reaction. 
Standing under the tree in a rainstorm will cause the sap to run off and blister the skin. When workers tried clearing an area by burning the trees, it resulted in toxic fumes that caused temporary blindness and asphyxiation. It even produces a poisonous fruit nicknamed the Little Apple of Death, which can result in abdominal bleeding and shock if eaten. The lethal organism was crowned world's most dangerous tree by Guinness in 2011. No wonder why. Not even Charlie Brown's kite-eating tree was this harsh. Number 2. Titan Arum It can grow to around 10 feet tall, 3 meters, and shares some similarities with the corpse flower we mentioned earlier. Titan Arum is identified as the corpse plant and is native to the rainforests of Indonesia, Sumatra, and Borneo. It is pollinated by beetles and flesh flies and uses a stench comparable to that of rotting meat to lure in animals that lay their eggs in putrid meat or feed on dead organisms. You've no doubt noticed that a lot of plants on our list use a similar stinky strategy to survive. Flowers like these are called carrion flowers since they smell like decaying flesh, and there are many species of such. By the way, plants aren't the only organisms that maintain their existence by emitting nasty smelling scents. Certain fungi use similar mechanisms to spread their spores. Number 1. The Kissing Plant This one has a number of names, some of which are fairly provocative. But whatever you want to call it, it certainly resembles a pair of puckered up lips. The bracts, or modified leaves which resemble its bright red lips, will eventually spread open to let the plant's flowers emerge. The unusual shape attracts pollinators like butterflies and hummingbirds. They're found in the rainforests of several Central and South American countries, including Panama and Costa Rica. We found one source that referred to this as the Mick Jagger plant. Can you think of any other names for it? Keep your suggestions family friendly, okay? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.